Hey guys, so for the last help video by me for the semester, I wanted to make a little tutorial that clarifies some of the confusion about what um, kilowatt hours per mile and MPGE and miles per gallon, what they're all, what they all are, how to fit it all together into the puzzle of this uh, project three. So for a regular gasoline car and a hybrid that's not a plug-in hybrid, so just a regular hybrid like a Toyota Prius, you treat them basically the same because they both use gas. It's just that the hybrid also has a battery and that's not charged by plugging it in. It's charged by things like braking and uh, other features of the vehicle. So you basically treat them exactly the same. So your Mitsubishi Mirage gets 40 miles to the gallon. We'll just look at the combined city highway to make it simpler. And then the hybrid vehicle here, the Toyota Prius, gets combined 50 miles per gallon combined city highway. So if you plug those in with the gas price, you need to know how much gas costs, how many days in a year, um, how many miles you drive, and the, the uh, miles per gallon. So right here I've got a, a 28 mile per gallon car. We'll, we'll go with the Mitsubishi Mirage, which is 40. Say that I drive 28 miles a day times 365 days a year. Gas is pretty cheap these days, so we'll just throw in a 205. So to run that vehicle, $523 a year. It's pretty inexpensive. Now you can see it go down if you put in 50 for the Toyota Prius. The Toyota Prius is definitely cheaper to run, so its annual fuel cost is $419 a year. So that's easy, very simple. Now when you go to the plug-in hybrid, you're going to want to add whatever you calculate here for its gasoline mileage to its electric mileage. And this gets a little messy depending on which plug-in hybrid you're looking at. So we'll, we'll take a simple case first and look at just a fully electric. So this particular case was only gasoline. Never mind that the hybrid uses a battery, only gasoline. Now we'll look at something that's only electric, and then I'll show you how to do it for the combo electric hybrid uh, gasoline vehicle, so the plug-in hybrid. All right, now there's two different ways that you could calculate the uh, annual fuel cost. So if we consider electricity to be a fuel in this case, we can call it annual fuel cost just to avoid confusion. So there's two ways. You can use the MPGE, which is your miles per gallon equivalent. So that's taking the same amount of energy and BTUs that you could get uh, out of a gallon of gasoline and generate that much electricity. So there's a couple conversions you have to do. Or you could use the kilowatt hours per mile that is included in the listing. So here you got 30 kilowatt hours per mile. 34 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, sorry, uh, 32 per 100 miles, and so if you just move the decimal place, you can do 0.3 kilowatt hours per mile, or you could plug it in as 30 over 100. It'll get you the same answer. So onward. Now if I'm going to use, we'll just look at this first vehicle. We will look at 97 miles per gallon, so I'll plug in the MPGE number here, so we have miles per gallon E, I just put that because it's shorter, miles per gallon equivalent. Say that I drive 28 miles a day, like in my other case, and say my electricity cost in Delaware for residential is like 11 cents per kilowatt hour. So $390.63 per year uh, just for the electricity We'll get, how, we'll get into how the gasoline factors in later. So if I were to use the 30 kilowatt hours per 100 miles figure, I can get pretty close to the same number with some exceptions. So we'll put in 30 here, 28 miles, 11 cents. So it's close. This particular case, though, has a pretty 
uh, has a larger difference than some of these other cars because right here it actually says that for the first some odd number of miles, which I'll show you on the website, it still uses some gasoline even when it's in electric mode. So in this case, this 97 MPGE takes into account 0.2 gallons of gasoline per 100 miles of gas plus the charge. After that cutoff mileage, it goes to only gas. So electric plus gas, gas only. There's another type of car, however, so anyway, before I jump onto that, that 0.2 gallons per 100 miles makes up for the discrepancy between these two numbers. So in this case, you're actually taking into account the fuel that you use during an electric mode. This, you're actually not taking the gas into account, which is why it comes out a little cheaper. Uh, for this project, I don't mind if you use either one because you'll get close enough to make a decision. This math is a little more complicated. As you can see, there's more steps. Now I'm going to do a comparison of the two ways to calculate for the Chevy Volt because this one uses only electric during the electric phase and then only gas during the gas phase. It's a little different from this one. And you can see it varies here and here. So I will put in, this one gets 104 MPGE. I drive 28 miles a day and 11 cents a kilowatt hour, 364. Now if I go to 32 kilowatt hours per 100 miles, it's really close, 364, 359, and these are just going to be rounding uh, uh, and rounding variations with the uh, kilowatt hours and the uh, MPGE. So if you're five bucks off, it's not going to change your overall decision whether to buy the car or not in the long run. It'll change your payback by days, so it doesn't matter. So you can use this or this, doesn't matter to me. For your formula, you need to make sure for electricity you have an energy input, some kind of calculation, whether it's MPGE or kilowatt hours per mile, some kind of miles driven input, so in this case it's that, and then whatever the price of energy is. In this case, it's electricity. And in this case, it was gasoline. The last piece of this is to make sure that you know what the cutoff mileage is for the car that you're looking at, because they're different. So I'm going to go to the website that I have pulled up and show you how to find that. So I'm going to go to this Prius plugin. On the website, it actually shows you right here that electric plus gas phase of the range is 11 miles, and then the rest of the tank will get you 540 miles. So that's where you find that. We'll look at the volt. That one is only electricity for 53 miles, and then it switches to gas. So that takes you another 420 before you have to go fill. We'll look at this one here. This one has a 27 mile range for electric and gas. Um, it says all electric for zero to 27. Then the rest of the six, the rest of the tank will get you up to 600 miles. So as you can see, these hybrids, these plug-in hybrids, can be kind of a pain, and they um, you can get as specific or as general as you would like. I will accept the kilowatt hour per mile strategy as long as you make sure to add it to your gas using the correct cutoff mileage, which you can look up. So hopefully that helps make some sense out of what all of these different variables and numbers mean. And I'll explain this in class as well. So you'll get two opportunities to understand. And then you can always rewatch this video when you need to. Best of luck, and I will see you in class.